Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so one of the things we absolutely love about math has to be the fact that uh, we can prove pretty much every mathematical statement, right? Um, and I say pretty much every mathematical statement because, for example, some things have to be axiomatic. We have to take them as building blocks which we assume to be true without proof, right? Okay, and so here we're going to use one of those axiomatic properties of math to prove why the product of two negative numbers has to be positive. There are other proofs of this, but they're not as neat and as detailed as this one, so I like this one. So the only assumption that we make, um, that is the only thing we take as being axiomatic is a distributive property um, for this proof, of course. Um, otherwise, there are other axioms in math uh, or building blocks, right? Okay, okay, okay. So to start, notice that negative a times b plus a times b is equal to this here. And so here's one place where I use a distributive property backwards, but yes, I use it here, right? Okay, I factored out a b, but that's using the distributive property, right? And reverse. That's what factoring is, right? Okay, okay. Now, negative a plus a is zero, so we have b times zero, and so we see that this here is equal to zero, right? Okay, but then we could uh, subtract uh, a times b from both sides here, uh, which is add the negative of a times b to both sides of the, this here to get that negative a times b is equal to the negative of a times b. Okay, this is going to be an important result that we're going to use in uh, the rest of this video. It's going to come into play crucially in a second, yeah? Okay, okay, okay. Now, from here, notice that negative a times negative b plus the negative of a times b is equal to, it's equal to this here, quiz, y. Well, because of this guy we just showed, right? We showed that this is true here, right? So if this is true, then we could replace this here, which is this here, right, with that there. And that's all we have done over here. We've replaced this guy here with that there, which we've already showed to be true in this step, right? Okay, 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 cool. So guess what we're going to do on this part? We're going to factor out a negative a. That is, use the distributive property in reverse. And so when we do, we can write this. Okay, and of course, we see that uh, negative a times this here is equal to zero because this here is equal to zero, right? Okay, 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 cool. But then that means that negative a times negative b plus the negative of a times b is equal to zero. Yeah? Okay, do you see the end now? This, of course, suggests or implies that negative a times negative b is the same as just a times b. So um, here's a proof of why the product of two negative numbers is positive. All right, I hope you enjoyed this. Keep watching. Take care.